Welcome back. That was, of course, uh, Keith and Manny Pacquiao on an instant classic last month in Vegas. We're going to take a look back at some of the biggest moments from that bout. This is the inside PBC Boxing film room. Let's uh, start with the walkout in a packed MGM Grand Garden Arena. Pro Manny crowd as well, of course. What was going through your mind at this point, Keith? Well, definitely, you know, like you said, it was definitely a Manny Pacquiao crowd. But at the end of the day, it's been years since I've been back in that arena. So it just felt really good mm -hmm. seeing the fans, knowing that the moment is now. Everything that I went through with uh, my injuries, my layoffs, you know, having my one fight against Jose Cito Lopez in January. And then here we are on that beautiful night, the big stage, Manny Pacquiao. You see my energy. I'm pumped up. You know, I mean, it just was the highlight of my career. You know, this was just the biggest stage that I've ever performed under, and I was really looking forward to putting on a show for all the fans and um, stepping in the ring facing Manny Pacquiao. Uh, so here you are, uh, staring him down then before the fight. What's that moment like? I always call that moment the final stare down. You know, you do so many um, promos where you got to do stare downs, and you do the press conference, and you do a stare down right here. It's the last stare down. But he's smiling in a bunch of those stare downs, right? This is the one moment where I feel like he's really in the zone. Yeah, serious. You know, I wanted to just take control um, at the start of the uh, bell. And I felt like I did everything that I wanted to do until I decided to take my first step back. And he jumped right on me and created the knockdown in the first round. Let's talk about that then and see it for a second. He caught you in the first round, as you said. Uh, walk me through how you remember this moment. Do you remember that moment? So I'm a little disappointed because as I see, I was being very aggressive. Then I said, you know what? I'm going to take a step back and I'm just going to relax for one moment. And see, I'm moving backwards, moving backwards. As I'm moving backwards, he caught me. And it, with the backward motion and with the shot that he landed, mm -hmm. I had to go down. I mean, it put me down instantly. Uh, I got up, I smiled about it, and I thought to myself, okay, here we are. You wanted this, you got it. It's a fight, boy, get up. <laughs> Let's show Manny Pacquiao that, you know, this ain't, it ain't gonna be as easy as he thinks. You know, and I just wanted to get up and uh, try to recover from it. You did smile about it. I thought that was interesting. What, 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 were you trying to communicate something to him at that point, or what are you thinking? Uh, no, it was just ironic, you know? I just didn't see myself being in that situation. And for me, it's a reality I, was just, check for a second. I was just laughing it off. Uh, but, you know, it was a mistake. Uh, moving straight backwards. Boxers know, coaches know, moving straight backwards. It, it just can, it's not good for your balance. You're better off moving side to side. A lot of times I circle the ring. I didn't think that he would be able to just hop on me. Mm -hmm. I was controlling the round. He didn't do a lot of action. And I mean, he just threw the right punch at the right time. I mean, you massively rallied though, didn't you, in those middle rounds. Uh, you in fact landed more power punches than any other Pacquiao opponent ever. Did his durability in the ring surprise you? Well, what surprised me the most was actually uh, his poise, which shows how much of a legendary champion he is, and then how much he kept his hands up, which also shows that he was gonna, that he was respecting my power. He knew that he needed to utilize his defense. I was kept uh, getting blows in. See right there, he, he mm -hmm. kept his hands up, you know? And I don't think that's a normal posture that we see Pacquiao in a lot with his hands blocking like that, mm -hmm. you know, caught him with that left hook, right hook, you know, and he just endured, you know? I know he felt the power. Uh, he, he gave my father respect after the fight. He said, your boy can punch really hard, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like I needed at least one knockdown to come back into the fight, and he was able to stay up and, and take the punches, and he walked away with the split decision. There was a moment where you felt his power as well. You took a brutal body shot uh, in round 10, didn't you? Where does that rank in terms of the shots you've taken in fights? Ah, <sighs> definitely, probably. In fights, has to be maybe three, uh -huh. Number three, number four, uh, definitely top five. Uh, yeah, that shot right there. Um, I mean, that shot hurt. I needed to take a breath. Um, it was more devastating than the knockdown in the first round when it comes to sensation. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because body shots, I'll tell you, either you feel nothing or it hurts. There's no <laughs> middle line. There's no like, oh, it kind of hurt a little bit. No, either you didn't feel that body shot, you can take it and keep moving, or it actually knocked the wind out of you. I mean, that's the thing. You actually took your mouthpiece out, didn't you, to kind of, to, I, I'm assuming, to take a breath. Quickly. I did it so quick, I almost, oh, see, we got to slow it down. We got to slow it down. 
That Boom. was just intuitive. You just needed to be able to I press wanted, press even the mouthpiece, look, I parried his jab. I don't, mouthpiece in hand, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm still focused, but I'm so focused, I wanted to take a breath. The mouthpiece was actually in the way of my breathing, so I just took it out of my mouth. I popped it right back in, I believe, uh -huh. right there, and we just kept fighting, you know? I'm not gonna go down. You, gravity, the punch needs to be truly devastating. I'm not gonna go down. If I have an option to fight on, I'm always gonna fight on like a true champion. Um, your lovely wife, Priyana, is here with us in the studio today. It was the first time that she had ever seen you fight. It was the first time she'd ever even been to a boxing match. I mean, I feel for her imagining what she must have been going through. You've not seen this yet, have you? No. Could you hear her voice? Could you pick her out in the crowd? Or I mean, is too much going on? All I heard was voices, a lot of cheering. Um, it wasn't easy to hear her or my family in that um, electric arena at the end of the day. You know, I know my family's watching. Me, I'm too focused in the ring. I just want to box hard, box smart. If I take a punch, I'm a fighter. I take the punch. Give me another punch. I'll take that punch. You know, I mean, it is a, it is boxing. It was a real fight. Um, fight of the year candidate, you know? Absolutely. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. There was a part of me that actually didn't want the fight to end. At the end of that 12th round, I'm like, where's 13? Where's 14? Had where's you had 15? a couple more rounds, did you feel that you could have maybe gotten the job done? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously a 15 uh, round fight like they did back in the days would give me um, more time because Two judges gave the fight to Pacquiao. One judge had me winning. And that third judge, when we're waiting and we hear that there's a decision, that there, it wasn't a draw. When you heard split decision, what did you think? They're going to take my belt. You know, I, I saw the fight. I, I, I was pushing to not lose. You know, of course I want to win. But I knew that the momentum was not in my favor. So to force the draw is victorious enough. You know, um, it was an exciting fight. But the judge had it. Pacquiao winning by one point. Mm -hmm. One point out of 12 rounds. Oh, listen, it was close. So if it's a one-point decision, that's like losing in a foot race by one foot. One point means that it was the knockdown that was the final say-so in the, in the match, and I accepted that. That's why I was right. humble um, at the end of the fight. Uh, I fought a champion. I fought to the best of my ability, and we performed. You absolutely did. It was fantastic. I'd sign up for the rematch, absolutely. Uh, Keith, thank you. Great to have you with us today again. Uh Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.